tanks. Check it out. Here's my electric catfish. This is the tank I'm going to be cleaning up. It's a bit dirty. It's a water change. So I'm going to bring down the water. I'm going to bring it down very low, about 90% of the water. As you can see, I usually don't like to put any gravel on the uh, in my tanks. The majority of my tanks don't have any gravel in them. Uh, I like to keep them pretty much clean. Uh, and I like to use a lot of sponge filters. Very easy to clean. First thing I'm going to do is remove the sponge filter. Disconnect it from here. I usually get the air in there. Then I take the filter, sponge filter, take it apart. Now I rinse out the, the filter by squeezing it out. And then I no longer see any um, brown water come out. Squeeze it a few times. I usually do it in like uh, lukewarm water. I don't do it too much, I try to keep the, the bacteria to still stay in the sponge. Then I use this bin over here. This is where I'm going to be placing the, the catfish in. I siphon a little bit of the water from the tank. Just enough to cover him to keep him wet. Then I use my handy net, catch him. He's getting pretty big. He was way, way smaller when I first got him. I had him, I had him, I had him about a, almost two years now. He was very, very small when I got him. Happy. And I'll clean out the sides of the tanks. Just got like some algae growing on it. Very light. After that, just scrubbing the sides, the bottom of the tank. I siphon out the remaining water. I usually leave a little bit, you know, like about 10% of the water. Try to keep some of the bacteria in the water. Well, if you have a sponge filter, you can also clean out the sides of the tank with a sponge filter, like I use sponge filters. Clean it around like this. And just then re rinse out the sponge filter. Let's 
fait. I usually siphon out the water into a five gallon bucket. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. It takes me like maybe two trips. This is only a 10 gallon tank. And I use one of these hoses that you hook up one end to the sink, this end to the sink, and this end to the tank and refill it. And I just put this end in, just like that. Turn up the water and fill it right up. Okay, now that the tank is all filled up, take the filter, put it back together. Place it back in the tank. Catch the fish. Place them back in. it. Now he's all happy. Close the shot of the fish. And that's how I clean up one of my fish tanks. Uh, I would like you to uh, subscribe to my channel.